Tali from Russia. This is Gunther from Moscow. <laughs> What you will see in this film are three examples of performance cruising catamarans. And wait for the end of the film, we will give you a list of other performance cruising catamarans. There are two reasons why we make this film. Number one is, there are a lot of future cruisers searching for a catamaran. In Facebook I always read the same question. Uh, what is better, a Fountain Peugeot, a Lagoon or a Leopard? What we want to show you in this film, there are a lot of other brands besides these charter boats, wonderfully made for cruising. I'm cruising, living aboard since 25 years. Five years ago I was looking for a new uh, performance cruising catamaran. In the end of my search there were actually three boats left uh, which suited me. Price range was uh, between two and three hundred thousand dollars. And funny, uh, we are stuck here because of Corona in Grenada and look what there is, all my three dream boats are anchored around in this bay. This is an Atlantic 55 designed by Chris White. I was looking uh, for sure for a smaller catamaran, it was a 46 Atlantic which uh, fitted much better to my budget. This is a Cybercut uh, designed by Tim Mambi. And the third boat which we are living on it is a Looping designed by Patrick Hüscher. Three very different catamarans as you will see. But all of them are performance cruising catamarans with great comfort to live aboard. A very important thing, uh, we have no relations with any of these designers or shipyards. Uh, we don't uh, get uh, paid for this or get a free catamaran. We have a nice catamaran, we don't need another one. So we are just trying to tell the truth. For sure it's our truth, our side of, of this boat, so it's very personal. Uh, we, we want to tell people what is uh, a performance catamaran, mm. which is not a racer, yeah. but it sails fast, it sails comfortable, and it is comfortable for living. Mm. Skinny hulls, uh, high bridge deck clearance, empty weights like yeah, seven six and a half, and a half seven, yeah. and then heavy weight is eight. Weight is the important factor for a performance cruising catamaran. Low weight means narrow hulls. Uh, heavyweight boats need wide hulls, uh, otherwise they sink or uh, they act like a submarine. So heavyweight and wide hulls uh, means low speeds. You know, there's fast monos and slow monos, you know, but there's also mostly slow cats, isn't there? Yeah. Um, and there's not many fast cats. But yeah. If you can go fast, why not? And it's an advantage for, you know, if you need to outrun some weather on a long passage, why do you want to go slow? <laughs> My, I am a sailor, I'm a racer, I've done a lot of racing. So my primary, my primary requirement was for sparkling sailing performance. Um, yeah, speed is safety and 
it was for me speed is is the ultimate safe safety factor. Why? You got a storm, you get the hell out of the way, and okay. you can't do that with with, with other boats. Okay. You know, this boat goes upwind. Uh, typically, I'm running upwind at 15 to 17 knots in the trades, um, to double or triple reef. Um, yeah, and it, I, I tack through 90, and with the boards down, yeah, I'm you know I'm, I'm really I can really make a lot of miles up upwind, and with a very with incredibly fine entry, it's very comfortable. So it doesn't. No, there's okay. no slamming, and with the bridge deck clearance. Uh, why are these types of boats so fast? It's uh, well, you weight. You have to have slim power to weight, price. power to weight ratio. So sail area to displacement. Um, you know, they're light boats and they have big sail sail plans, so they go fast. I remember on the Indian Ocean, on our way to Madagascar, we were making uh, for two days steady 14 to 15 knots. And it was my first ocean crossing, and I was scared a bit in the beginning, but later it gets back normal, and yeah, I have fun. But this is about good winds. Let's talk about light winds. How does the performance catamaran behave in nearly no wind condition? Yeah, our catamaran says uh, pretty good in conditions between 5 to 10 knots of wind. Catamaran, our size 45 foot uh, with uh, 10 tons weight or more uh, cannot sail in these conditions. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, so weight is uh, the enemy of light wind uh, condition speed. We can hold the spinnaker in 5 knots. That was sort of our cutoff coming across the Atlantic, and often we had that. Yes, <laughs> me <knots>. too. <laughs> so uh, we dropped the main and, and just had the spinnaker, which would just sit nicely in five knots. But yeah, less than that. So uh, what what speed do you were uh, doing with, with this? Well, if it was on the beam, we could do five knots, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, if it was behind, we would do four. You know, four. Mm -hmm. um, but you were moving. Yeah. Uh, uh, you didn't have to no, turn the no, key. We didn't didn't use the props and I think being a light you know the idea of a light and higher performance boat is you can sail in light weather uh, any boat can go quickly in heavy wind you know but uh, the ability to go at all in light winds is is the difference Comfort. What is comfort for you on a boat? When when you are living on a boat, when you don't use wow. it for weekends or so. Space, you know, is the big thing with a cap, both deck and inside. Because um, this is our home, we you know want to make it as comfortable as possible. And comfort, comfort while sailing. What would you point? You know, it depends on like you know how long a term you. You're gonna, you're, how long a passage you go? Let's say you go uh, across the Atlantic. Have good food, you know. A well-designed boat has a, has a very smooth and easy motion, without with with no bridge deck slaps. Um, yeah, you, you 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 arrive at your destination rested, mm -hmm. so you don't make bad decisions. Can easily cook even. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Knots of wind oh sure, we're, we're having cooking competitions across the Pacific. <laughs> Who can make the best bread? <laughs> July 2019, South Atlantic Ocean, uh, winds uh, 30 to 35 knots and heavy cross seas, maybe 4 to 5 meters high. Because the motions of the catamaran are pretty easy, we still can cook uh, with pleasure. Okay, weight, speed, light wind performance, comfort. Let's look to the details of these three beauties. Um, this is an Atlantic 55, uh, full composite build, um, core cell, divinity cell, um, a lot of carbon in all of all the cross beams. 
The dimensions are 55 long, 28 and a half feet wide. Um, draft nominal draft is 1.3 meters, I believe, and boards down is closer to three meters. Um, built in South Africa by Bongers in the year 2003. Uh, why are you so uh, fixed on a forward cockpit? Safety. I, I can do. A, I can. Put, I can bang a reef in in 30 seconds, and never have to leave the cockpit. You know, I never have to go, go, go climbing up, up on a mast or it's all right there. Mm -hmm. So basically it means I can do single person watches safely. You're not trying to cram, uh, you're not trying to cram bathrooms in every corner. So, you know, the galley down is, is very comfortable for cooking. It's, it's the least motion of anywhere in the boat. And with the galley down, you have this, you know, very open and spacious uh, main salon. The, the, main, the main cabins are very, very comfortable. Right, so my boat, Jupiter 2, is a Mumby 48, or his actual design name is a Cyber 48, but his name's Tim Mumby, and as everyone calls it, a Mumby 48. Uh, it's about 24 foot wide. Empty weight's like, yes, yeah, six and a half, and a half seven, yeah. and then heavy weight is eight. Uh, oh, yeah, so this is an aluminium boat, uh, which is pretty rare, I guess. For a cat. That's what you uh, something what you like. I uh, just love the strength and the stiffness and the security, but the stiffness of it allows this open layout. You know, like uh, from the galley, uh, you know, I can see the helm and see people here. Patrick Jüscher, the designer of the loopings, was full-time cruising on his boat for many years. And you can see this in every little small detail on the boat. He knows what a cruising boat is. It is 45 feet long, built in strip planking and epoxy. It's a very light boat, uh, empty, it's a bit more than 5 tons, but it's very strong. We have a very big and comfortable cockpit area. Board side there is the table and the settees. Uh, most time when we are sailing we, we sit out here and on the starboard side uh, there is the working area. The galley is up. Uh, on the starboard side we have an extra watch berth. I have never seen it on another catamaran. By the way, a film with a full boat tour is coming soon on this channel and the boat sails very very smooth. Would you like to sail like this? Or like this? It was only 15 knots of wind. really really white hulls. And they're good for the purpose. They're great for the charter business. You know like if you talk to a charter captain they want a Lagoon 62 because it's easy to run the boat. They could put 10 guests on there or 8 guests on there, make a lot of money, make big tips. What I call charter morans or you know, documiniums, um, lagoons, privileges. They are great for what they do. They're great for, for making money. They're great for you know, coming, somebody coming down for a week's vacation. They want to have become be comfortable, they want to be air conditioned, they want to have their own private head. Most of these cats I was looking at were not going to perform much better than a monarch. You know, yeah. the, the charter cats, which are heavy and full of luxury and furniture, uh, and that's all I could find on the market really. That there was very little available that had performance. And he is not only a drone operator, he made all these beautiful drone pictures of our cats. 
He is also a charter skipper here in the Caribbean. Um, but because you're chartering, you have um, a lot of fuel. The company gives you fuel because you have to be at point A at a certain time, point B at a certain time. So you're just going from from point to point, one day to the next. And then it's just motor sailing pretty much. You know, they're, they're very heavy. They've got a lot of luxury bits and pieces in them. So it's, yeah, they're not exactly designed for for speed. Yeah, light wind performance, definitely not there. Uh, yeah, if you go, let's say we are here in Grenada now, you want to go to Martinique. Uh, this is an upwind trip for I don't know how many hundred miles. Uh, you have to motor sail. Yeah, motor sail. Yeah, I put the head sail out. That's what we did most of the time: head sail out and um, and motor sailing. If you are gonna be fuel, you're gonna be paying for fuel. I would rather have a sailing cat, um, a cat that sails in in low wind. Here are more designers or both brands which are performance catamarans.